delighted to finally get Joshua the killer filler for what's in the bag. Josh, are you excited for this? Yeah, of course. Uh, thanks for having me. And uh, yeah, I'm ready, ready to go. Now, I know you've been watching these series. You love them, don't you? Yeah, it's fun. I mean, uh, to see what all the pro players has in their case and everything. But I definitely can say I have not that much in my case. So That doesn't surprise me. <laughs> I can imagine you just got a cuna piece of chalk. Listen, what a setting, though. We've been waiting a while to get you on the channel to do this, and I think I'm happy we've waited so long because we're in the Moscone Cup Arena yeah. for this. Couldn't be in any uh, better place, to be honest. Uh, it's the most biggest event in pool, uh, and it's my favourite event. So Favourite arena? Yeah. Ali Pali? Yeah. What's different about Ali Pali to Vegas? What's the, what's, what's the different feeling? In my opinion, it's just it's bigger than in Vegas, uh, but I, th I have to say the atmosphere from the USA crowd is a little bit more rowdy, yep. uh, louder, um, but still playing uh, in front of the ho in, in the home soil, it's just a much better feeling. Right, this is day four. We'll come back to day four in a minute. Let's have a look at what's in the bag. Yep. So you've got the Predator Urban no, case. The Metro. Empty it out. What is it? The Predator Metro. Oh, Metro. Yeah. Oh, I just ah, looked it up okay. yeah, two, yeah, 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 two yeah. seconds ago. <laughs> yeah, oh, right, yeah, because the other one falls. Yeah. Right, right, let's get the stuff out. Let's yeah. see what you've got. So, should I already start talking? Yeah, or? no, just empty it all out. Okay. And I'll talk to you, pal, right. don't worry. So, we've got some gloves. Have you always played with a glove? Yeah, no, when I first started, uh, playing with a glove was not that big at right. that time. Uh, and also, my hands when I was younger was, were just too small for gloves. Okay. And uh, yeah, since I play with the Revo, I started, you know, feeling better with a glove. And since then, I got used to it. Right, we'll get to the Revo in a minute. So we've got some little gadget here. What's this? Yeah, that's called uh, the Willards. It's just, you know, if I have a bad miscue or something, I'm just going to use it to, you know, get my uh, tip back in shape. and that the chalk is sticking better to the tip. Right, okay, give it here, let's have a look. Let's put it here. Chalk? Yeah, that's, this is the new Predator chalk. I put a tape around it because I have uh, pretty pretty sweaty hands and when this gets into the chalk, then the chalk doesn't really stick to the tip anymore. That's why I put a tape around it. Do you prefer these shapes of chalk or I just used to prefer the block? Yeah, me too, because it's pretty dangerous. It's yeah, rolling, uh, you know, when it falls to the table, it can roll and hit a ball, so, uh, yeah. Right, let's chuck it over here. Yep. What have we got here? What's this secret weapon? Well, I have to say I'm sweating really, really much. and uh, you, you don't know. look like you're sweating when you play. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'm just using it when I feel like I'm stinking or something. So that's why I'm having it always in my bag. Right, okay. So we'll put that over here. Right, get the rest of your stuff out. Yep. Empty the full bag. I will. I can see we've got, we'll, we'll get to this in a minute, but I can see there's some kind of Earl Strickland wrap on this. Yep. With a glove. We've gone all carbon, Joshua. Yep. The modern way. Let's put this over here. Oh, we've got more. Right, let's just chuck this here. Right, let's talk about the jump cue first. Yep, I am using the Predator Air Rush with uh, no rep because this butt has, uh, it's just thicker. I'm feeling just better with a thicker butt and uh, yeah, that's right. it actually. And that's just come the way it comes to you. You've not done anything with it. No, nothing. Same it's uh, the same tip, same ferrule, same shaft as you can buy in the, sh in the shop. Right, okay. So. so we've seen that many times on the channel so far, but I don't believe we've seen this. Yeah, it's a Predator uh, Beaker Rush Gold. Um, since I won the World Games, I got told that uh, I'm going to receive one of them. So uh, that was wow. a nice present from Predator. Is it the only gold one? No, they've uh, also... But you can buy it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Maybe they should have just give it you. Oh, well, maybe. It's an idea moving forward. So uh -oh. it's a gold BK rush. How heavy is this? Do you just get it and leave it, or do you uh, have weight? No, take I weight took out? all the weights out, but uh, I don't know exactly how. So you like a light break? Yeah, always. Yeah. Any cue I have, it's, it must must uh, be be light. Otherwise, I don't feel comfortable with. It. Even the playing cue. Yep, the playing cue. It's going to be, I think, a quite surprise with a shaft. It, we weighed 16.6 uh, ounces. 16.6? Yeah. Are you joking? No. Nope. You can, Ow. you know, hold it in your hands, you're going to feel. Oh my it's like a word. Feather. Let me put it together. What? How is it so light though? Surely it's not that light when you take the weight out. They must do something to no. this, no? I, I received the cue like this. Uh, it's been a Wowzers. present from Karim. 
the CEO of Predator. That uh, is mental out loud. For me is. and Pia's wedding. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. So it's a special queue for me. So you're always going to use a light queue like this? Yeah, always. Wow, that's unbelievable. When they sent me a queue and I don't feel comfortable with the, with the heaviness or with the weight, I have to change the butt. So all queues I have are similar to this weight. That must be the lightest queue on tour. Probably. Yeah, you everyone. Might be the lightest person on tour, though. <laughs> <laughs> um, everyone who's trying that queue always says like it's way too uh, too light. Uh, but when they play with it, they were like, "Oh, that this is a, it's a nice touch and a nice feel." Unbelievable. Have yeah. you uh, held Francisco's queue? I know it's heavy, right? super super heavy. It's about 23, yeah. 24 rounds. Wow, that is unbelievable. What tip have we got on there? Uh, it's a how black medium. How black medium. Yeah. So that is. As it, when you say medium, it's just like medium hardness. Yeah, right? medium hardness, yeah. Because um, they have a soft, medium and hard, it's right. a medium one. What diameter do you play with? Uh, it's a 12.4 Revo. Because before this, or at some point, you used to play with Z-Shaft, which is thinner. Yeah, it's 11.85. Why the change? Why, um, obviously... As in thickness? No. Why, have, why have you gone thicker? When I was actually playing with it, I felt so, super, super confident. I won the World Nine Ball and everything, and the US Open. But after a while, I just wanna, I wanted to have a new challenge, to be honest. It oh, sounds really? funny, but it, it was like that. And then I um, took PS Revo, and it's a custom made, because the deflection is a little bit lower okay. than the usual 12.4. So it was just made kind of the similar way to the Z-Chef with the deflection. Wow, how did he do that? I have no idea. Wow. And honestly, I don't really care as long as, as it plays perfect. Yeah, okay. Wow. <laughs> and uh, yeah, they made it perfectly. The weight is perfect. And uh, since then, I'm feeling super, super confident playing with the Revo. Wow. And what about this shaft? Because the ferrule looks quite thin. Yeah, uh, it has a different fellow ferrule. Uh, I started playing with that one. But then uh, I found out that Pia also has one because those never meant to be mine. Right. Pia had them. And then I saw that it has a bigger ferrule, uh, a big walled, white walled plate. Yep. And uh, yeah, of course, when you play with a usual shaft, the, the ferrule is thicker. So I felt more comfort confident playing with that one. Wow. And you was quite late to the party for carbon cues. Why? Well, actually, I started playing in 2017. Yep. Uh, I won the China Open with it. This is how actually the, the party starts for the Revo. Um, but then, obviously, I wasn't happy with the deflection. The next tournaments weren't that good. And then I received the, or saw like the Z3, played with it, and I was like, okay, I, I have to try it. Okay. Ask Predator to send me some. Since then, I changed. The next uh, tournament I've played was the World Nine Ball. I won immediately the World Nine Ball. I was like, okay, I'm going to stick to that one. Right. But as I said, then uh, I looked for a new challenge. They, you know, um, did the Revo perfectly, same conditions as the Z3. And since then, I'm super, super proud and happy from Predator that. I have a perfect material to play with. Right, and it's 16 point what? 16.6. 16 16.6, 16 that's absolutely insane. Right, forget about this, this is just your standard yeah. extension. Explain this, has Earl give you a present? No. <laughs> <laughs> um, as I said earlier, I'm sweating a lot okay. uh, on my hands, of course, and uh, yeah, I think it's a perfect solution when you have sweaty hands, put a tennis wrap around it, and it's super, super sticky, and right. feels perfect. And you've never bothered with the extension like some players? Playing. No, no, I don't feel comfortable with it. Uh, every time when I put the extension behind it, I feel like the cue goes up. Yeah. Um, so so I, I, I was going to stick to that uh, usual. Also, the shaft is, what is the usual one? 30 inch? 29? 29, sure. 29, 29, 29. Yeah. 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 So that's just a standard length. Yeah, standard cue. length. Right. What else is in the bag? Anything? No. I can see something on the bag, though. What's this, Pat? Yeah. Is um, a present off the wife? I recently, <laughs> I recently uh, when we were at... When we were in the US, we saw a package where you could have the Yoshis from Super Mario in all different colors, and you couldn't you couldn't see which one is in the bag. And uh, yeah, it was the rosa pink one, and uh, that's why I put it on my case because Yoshi is from Joshua in Germany. So oh, yeah. Well, everyone who's watching this video, I think what this proves is you don't need loads of silly gadgets and stuff. You just need a glove, a bit of spray in case you stink. The cues. <laughs> and just a piece of chalk, Josh, don't you? Yeah, I mean, uh, I don't like to have too much in my bag, so it doesn't bother me in the end, or I don't have to look after something. Um, I just, you know, always kept it simple. Yep. Have everything in the bag I need, so that's all it is. Right, Josh, it's day four, Europe and nine two up. When this video goes out, we will know the result. 
So tonight you're going to be playing Shane Van Bone in yep. first singles match. I want a prediction now on camera. What score are you going to beat him? Well, come on, I, let's I, get I, it. I can't predict the score, honestly. I just want to have fun playing my game, but let's say 5-3. Five, 5-3. Three. Five, three. Yep. Josh, good luck tonight. I'm Thank sure you. you won't need it because you're a joke. <laughs> uh, good luck for the rest of your career. Thank At the you. beginning of this video, I was thinking of something to announce you with, like, oh, world nine ball champion Joshua Filler. There were too many titles, pal. Which title have you not won? Which big title have you not won? I thought it was a World Masters, then I forgot you did win that. Yeah. Uh, actually, you've won them all, right? Actually, only the World 8-Ball, World 10-Ball right now. And the US International from Pat Fleming. That's terrible. Even I've won the World 8-Ball. <laughs> Pal, all it's right. been a pleasure. Thanks Congratulations. For Cheers. <laughs> Thanks for doing this, of course. Yeah. And uh, that's a nice queue, nice right. bag. And uh, can't wait to watch you seeing you walking down there in about two and a half hours' time. Yeah. Joshua, thank Fellow. you.